Hey everybody, I just wanted to share this with you real quick. Over at Puppet World of YouTube, Ron sent me this, this bumper sticker for my wall. Thank you so much, Ron. I'm going to proudly display it up here on my wall. So let's go ahead and put this up here. Puppet Wood of YouTube. Funny little twist to it. You got to go check them out. I'll leave a description below and a little link up here. Thank you so much. Hey everyone, welcome. I'm going to attempt to make this pattern for a base for a bowl. It should really be awesome looking if I could get it done. Um, my first step is I got to cut this up, mill this up, and make strips to have the, the dual colors. So let's go ahead and start milling that up. So like I said, the first step is the width at the widest part here is about a, a one and a quarter inches. So obviously I'll give myself a little bit of room, but I'll have to start ripping these up. This should be well dried up. Go ahead and take it apart. All right, we got the walnut and the oak. I'm going to go ahead and clean this up and I'll bring you back when, we're, when I have it all cleaned up. So I printed out the shape and I cut out the, I cut out the triangle and I practiced on some MDF. I glued it on there and it came out pretty good. I, ma I made some little make makeshift uh, sleds that you'll see in a minute. They're nothing spectacular, but they work. So, <clears throat> so what I'm gonna do is go ahead and cut this print and start gluing them on here and then getting busy on the table saw. So let's get that done. Now what I'm going to do is take these and line them up as perfectly as I can and glue them down. It's way too cold out here for me to glue, so I'm going to go inside and uh, glue these down. So I probably won't film that part. So when you come back, you'll see these all glued in, and then we'll go ahead and start cutting them out. So we'll be back in a little bit. All right, here you go. I, I glued these on. In the house, I didn't record that. Um, so I'm gonna go ahead and cut these off, and then we'll go over to the table saw and uh, try to start shaping these out. Let's get it done. All right, <clears throat> you just saw me using my jigs. They're, they are far from perfect. They're, a, they're a, a work in process, but all in all, I think they did a pretty good job. I mean, it, it was a lot of eyeball stuff, but um, all in all, I think they did an, aw it did an awesome job. 
Anyway, so what you're going to see me do next is I'm going to glue these pairs up like this. Let that dry and then glue them all together. So let's go ahead and get that done. All right, this is pretty dried up. I'm pretty happy with that. There's a couple little spots here. I might want to hit on the sander, but uh, it's pretty tight, it looks okay. So let's go ahead and hit these little spots on the sander. So I'm gonna go ahead and try to knock these little corners off. Hopefully this will keep it straight. It came out pretty nice. All right, we got it all glued up. I kind of cleaned it up a little bit. I'm going to go ahead and clean up the faces of these on the sander. Um, so let's go ahead and get that part done. So what I'm going to do next is I'm going to try to make the inserts to go within these uh, voids here to make the outer ring of the, of the base. So what I'm going to attempt to do is trace this and then just follow this center line out. So I traced it out and I followed these center lines. So I traced this out and I followed these center lines out to try to make a blank to fit in there. I'm going to try it on some scraps, see how close I can get it first. And, uh, and then we'll go from there. So that's what you're going to see me do. sanded it a little bit and it's 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 pretty good is it exactly perfect no but I don't know if you could see that it's not horrible so I'm gonna go ahead and move to the, the actual piece of wood back and forth with the gluing I ended up using two clamps like this on the bench and kind of banging it together you know putting pressure on it and clamping it and tightening it we'll see if it works so we'll come back when this is dry okay so it's been like an hour let's see how this looks It's not too bad. It's not too bad. Better than I thought it was going to be. Um, so what I'm going to go ahead and do is start tracing the other ones and going ahead and cutting them and gluing them. And uh, so I'll just have a quick montage of that and then I'll bring you back when it's all dried up. All right, here we go.
it's all glued up, all the pieces are in. I'm going to take it on the bandsaw, cut it kind of round, put a glue block on here, get it on the lathe, start cleaning it up and see what we got. Looks pretty cool, man. Looks pretty cool. Okay, I cut it kind of round. I'm gonna put it, I, I found the center. I'm gonna put a tiny little divot there. Then on my glue block, I have a hole drilled in the center that this nail fits into. So I could go ahead and just put some hot glue on here. Drop the nail in the little divot. Glue this down. Now I have it centered with my mark. So let's get this on the lathe and clean it up. pretty cool I love this star it's it's just awesome I mean this is gonna be the base for a bowl I have some Paduk some purple heart some yellow heart I'm not exactly sure what I'm gonna actually do this side um, did it come out perfect absolutely not but after I put the rings on here to create my bowl and this is the main focus of uh, on the inside of the bowl I think it's it's gonna be beautiful I'd like to do a little special shout out for Doug over at Pole Barn Productions. If you guys know me, you know him. He's he's like superstar. <laughs> but for but if for any strange reason you're watching this video and you never heard of Doug, go out and check him out. We did this T-shirt swap, and I'm really really thrilled to receive his T-shirt. Um, again, thank you so much for watching. My next video, I'm going to turn this into a bowl. Um, it should really be, it should really come out nice. Thank you so much. Shut up and sit down.